uh, my work alive, I uh, started to do it in 2014 in Cambodia. And this work is, I got inspiration from uh, the kettle of the family. And this kettle, it has been used, using for like 45 years. And like five years before the war and I get through the war uh, about almost four years. And since I grown up, and uh, since I grown, since I was born and grown up, I always see this kettle in my family, and it make me curious like why it's, uh, my family keep using it even like it is old, and uh, it's even it broken, and my sister kept repairing it and use it every day, and then I start to question uh, my sister and my 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 mom. What, uh, what important that you keep this kettle because we have new other kettle also. And then I learned that uh, what is connected about this kettle because during the war of the Khmer Rouge region, uh, we fed the chicken but we could not eat the chicken. So my mom sometimes she caught the chicken in the night and uh, pretend it as to boil the water. But uh, so at that time, my mom she. Uh, uh, caught the chicken and returned it to boil as a uh, boil the water. But at that time, she cooked the chicken, and one that she always remember because like one, my father was very sick and was very weak, and she wanted to provide extra food to him, and she caught the chicken again and brought to him. And at that time, my father didn't dare to eat because he uh, he was afraid to being killed, and then it uh, yeah that story is from that. And I continue to work on the other object of the family. And uh, one, I learned that uh, because uh, my, my mom, she also buried the photos. And before working on the project Alive, I didn't know that she had buried the photo. I saw that uh, during the war, she only hide the photo in the clothes. But at that time, she had to frame all the photo in the plastic and bury them under the ground. And from those photos, it, uh, I learned from those photos and it made me like fascinated about photography for the first time. Yeah. And uh, from, uh, I continue uh, with other objects of the family, but my family like uh, didn't keep a lot of objects. So I continued to other family in Cambodia, uh, about like four families. And I consider that this uh, project is important because 40 years after the war, uh, many old people they pass away, and if if we don't record or about the memory, the memory can be lost also. So I continue to other family and also uh, to survival uh, of Cambodia that uh, left the country after the war to other country. So last year I did in uh, with a Cambodian Australian, yeah. And this project is still an ongoing project. Uh, Allies is about the object uh, get through the war, uh, pass through the war, and uh, with the memory uh, attached with the, each object. So uh, when the people see the photo, it's like one object and one clue lead to the lead to the memory. Yeah, and uh, uh, in the whole story, not 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 yet complete, but the, in the story, I I. How I narrate to the photo is the work. It's like uh, photo starting from before the war, during the war, uh, at the border came and uh, continues to another country. Yeah, so it's like it's just the timeline of the history. Yeah. When I uh, uh, find the, uh, the object, I try to find the object that the people they that still stay with the people and not the objects from antique shop or from junk. It's an object that the people keep and it's something like meaning to them and attached to their life. And uh, the process to work on this project is like, when I found the object, each object, and then I start to have, first it's like just casual conversation with the owner. And next step, I also interview uh, uh, the owner with uh, the memory of the object. And then it made me sing for some time before uh, taking photograph. 
So maybe it's, it's like the owner told me the, the like whole story. I need to think that this object, it can work with which clue that lead to the memory. And then I photograph. Yeah. Uh, when I done uh, some photo in Cambodia, I exhibit firstly in Cambodia because I want to have the feedback from the local. And when I exhibit uh, in Cambodia in 2014, I also uh, show the object. I also display the, the real object. Uh, and after that, uh, there are some new talking about uh, this work and uh, reach out to the, uh, the media, uh, reach out to the online. And then uh, I got a phone call from Cambodian from outside of Cambodia, like one guy from Australia called me uh, that because the picture of the kettle and the chicken. And uh, a guy, he called me that his family also did that during the war. And another picture uh, that uh, I framed in the photo with the plastic, uh, I got an, uh, another phone call from a guy in, living in New Zealand. He said that during the war, uh, his family done the same thing, like bury stuff, like frame the stuff and bury under the ground. And yeah, other, other exhibition in, in Cambodia, I, 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 showed the, I also showed the object, display the object. And uh, to show here in Photo Kathmandu, uh, what I like is like uh, how uh, the idea come from the the picture and uh, the caption and gave inspiration about installation because uh, when we go there we can see like uh, one cabinet and the people you just install like put the picture inside the cabinet. Because at that time, uh, one lady living in Australia, she didn't bring her ID, and she kept the ID in the cabinet. So this, 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 this story, it come to the idea of the installation. And uh, picture, uh, all those photos in the series doesn't need to be on the wall. And I, I saw that uh, I photographed uh, one sandal with the footprint and the thorn. And the sandal is on the floor, so you put on the on the floor. It's, it's, it's like it's it's nice. I like that. Yeah. Uh, when it it when it's shown in Cambodia, uh, uh, some image it talk to the visitor immediately because they know the story. Sometimes they don't need to read the caption, and and the old people and the young people they start to have conversation about this, and some story. Uh, they didn't really share, but uh, through the exhibition, they start to talk about it, and it's, it's, it's good interaction with the people. And like this story, it's happened in, in Cambodia, about the war in Cambodia, but for example, if uh, it, uh, we talk about other war outside of Cambodia, it can be in other country that have experience with the war, it can be like something to learn. And, uh, this, uh, my work is talking about like the objects through the war, but uh, the idea from the objects not only only about the war, it can be like maybe natural disaster, it can be the childhood. Uh, it's uh, some student that during the workshop, they pick up some object that uh, gets through the earthquake from here, recent, uh, like last year. So this object is, can be from other memory, yeah. And, a uh, few students from here in Kathmandu also pick up the objects from their childhood. They kept, it's like, like seen the kid and then till now, and they kept, so they mean something to them. And yeah, it's, it's, the memories can be something positive, something negative, something that they remember. Yeah. When, I, when I'm invited to uh, show my work a lie in uh, Photo Kathmandu, and uh, there's another education program that I uh, facilitate the workshop here with uh, uh, Sachif and uh, to, uh, with the student, the uh, art student from Sri College here, Sri, Sri University. And uh, first, on the first day, uh, on, on 25th in the morning, they check out my exhibition. 
And the idea is to look at the picture without reading the, the caption. And after that, they start to uh, read the caption, how they see the difference. And also, they need to pick up, maybe they need to, each photo, uh, maybe some photo that talk to them. Uh, they try to remember and come to talk to me. And after that, in the, in the afternoon, uh, I did presentation of my work. Uh, not only alive, but also other projects uh, that talking about like this uh, doc uh, architecture, documentation, and some work is about memory. It's how I, it's like the journey of the, my photography from from uh, previous works to now. It's like how uh, how they see the difference. And after that, the next day they start to uh, they go back to their home and they collect the object and they collect very, very uh, different objects. Yeah, and uh, I saw that they pick up like the objects after the war, World War II. They collect the object related to the daily life of the family, the object through the childhood, and the also the object after the earthquake. So it's like four elements. It's something like, that. yeah. And so it made me think that uh, I thought my work is only about the war, it's like objects to the war, but here I saw that many other objects that we can talk about. Yeah. And after that, uh, they start to photograph uh, quickly, and after we install the exhibition next to uh, uh, my exhibition venue. Like first with my, my parents, after the war, it, uh, uh, like 40 years after the war, they talk Normally, they don't really get so much emotion. And uh, after that, I got some already some material. So when I uh, want to, when I work with other family, I show the some sample of the photos to them. So they start to understand the idea, and uh, and they consider that it's something necessary for the history. So they support the idea and they can share. They openly uh, share the, the story. And when I uh, went to Australia, uh, some story that they didn't share with the children, but uh, when I, I, I talked with them, and after that, they considered that necessary for the history. So they also support the idea, so they openly share also. And some a uh, story the children they didn't know for many years and they, when they spoke out so some terrible story sometimes they uh, got like so much emotion and they cry also both most part and this we need to go like stop for for some time and before continue but at the end they still share even they got so much emotion but they still share because it's like they saw it's it's, they consider that something necessary for this history. Yeah. First, it's uh, uh, not about uh, the festival. It's what I like here. Is uh, I arrive in the midnight, and everything is was very dark. I could not see anything. It's just like dark. And I slept, and next day in the morning, it's like from the window, and I I heard that the children playing football here, and something nice like light is, is happening and then when I walk out on the street it's just next to the market and a lot of things happening and a lot of things happening at the same time people and stuff and things and it's like first impression is about like what I like and then I walk around the city it's something I like it's about like uh, it's in the pattern so it's like a lot of old stuff and a lot of young teenager together, and a lot of things happening. And first, is I connect myself with the connect myself with the the here in 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 Patan. And then uh, with the program of the uh, uh, next day, next day I start to check out the exhibition. It's what I learned work from other photographer also. And what I like here in uh, Photo Kathmandu is about like artist talk and panel discussion. It's something that the people they share and it, it got us like, for me, got a lot of inspiration and a lot of things to learn. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very good.
and a lot of like education program and uh, most like all photographer what uh, all I met and all the people that I met is that they are very friendly and uh, all the people uh, I met here in Photo Kathmandu they come from a different part of the world and we got something in common that we uh, share the, the, the same passion about photography so it's like we learn a lot of things from each other yeah. and uh, this time I didn't do portfolio review but it's also the people that done that it's, it, it's good for them also you know it's like uh, uh, when you done uh, the uh, photo exhibition like uh, a photo festival and it's happened in different country and uh, you you try to bring work from other country and uh, show in the public and how it's like when the, the local audience or the local visitor check out all the exhibition what they interact with with all the work and uh, it's something that they can learn and sometimes maybe they don't like the photo sometimes maybe they don't understand the work but Step by step is something like something that they pass to their mind and then it's something to learn. And what I like about here, because when I observe uh, all the exhibition, uh, you, you put like exhibition in the, maybe in the square of the block of the architecture of the, of the house. And people just come out from their, their home and just look at the exhibition. So it's like very interact straight to the local audience. And and I saw a lot of local audience they visit like the exhibition and they talk. It is something nice about the festival. Yeah. Even like it can be the work from Nepal. It they 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 can know the uh, the story from here. But they see other work from other countries, it's it's a lot of things to learn. It's it's very good.